Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to ramble about the new Mr. Spock for Star Trek Discovery. This thing right here, which everyone calls the pizza cutter. <laughs> the Discovery itself. And this is him, Ethan Peck. Um, which I'd have to say they did a pretty good job, uh, casting him. I've got a few articles here. Um, I don't think I need to read all of them, but I will link them all in the description. Uh, but take a look at some of these pictures here because they, um, they do some comparisons. Here's Leonard Nimoy. And that's Ethan Peck there. Now look at this one. Who does this remind you of? That looks a lot like Zachary Quinto. <laughs> that's Zachary Quinto. Come on. That looks a lot like him, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, that is so close. All right, so... And Zachary Quinto, uh, in case you didn't know, is in the reboot uh, Star Trek movies, uh, which is known as the uh, Kelvin timeline, the um, the alternate timeline, or some people say it's the J.J. Abrams universe. All right, so uh, season two, and I have a I have an episode of um, Shep Rambles that has a trailer about uh, season two of Star Trek Discovery so be sure to check that out and it hints of Spock being in it because it's going to have Captain Pike uh, in it so there's going to be uh, Spock in there and it says the search for Spock is over ever since the news hit that Spock would appear in the second season of Star Trek Discovery fans have been waiting for casting news on who would play the iconic character I was hoping it was going to be Zachary Quinto, but they've got Ethan Peck. And, well, I can't say I'm disappointed. I mean, I don't really know who Ethan Peck is. Um, I did some homework, which we'll share here um, in this episode. He is the grandson of movie star Gregory Peck. Now, you may be wondering, like, who are these people? Well, let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so Ethan Peck... This is what, um, I'm not really familiar with really any of this stuff that he's done, um, with the exception of that 70s show, which, uh, well, and the Drew Carey show, which I really didn't watch a whole lot of them, um, but apparently he played a kid, <laughs> and in that 70s show he played young Kelso, um, the rest of the stuff I'm not really familiar with, um, but he played in these roles, and here's some movies that he that he played in. Um, and as far as games, he was in Halo 4. He played Gabriel Thorne. Uh, I haven't played Halo 4 because I don't have an Xbox. And he played Lightning Returns. So he just did additional voices. So, doesn't seem like he's really had any major roles, but I'll tell you what, after he plays Spock, he might start having some major roles. Uh, now, as far as... Well, he, now here's this thing here. In the 1999 movie, Passport to Paris, he starred uh, opposite uh, with Mary-Kate Olsen and Ashley Olsen. It was the first on-screen kiss with Mary-Kate. I don't know if that's saying much, but... Um, considering, you know, what happened to them after they grew up, but anyway, um, now he is, yeah, the grand, grandson of Gregory Peck. That's, I have to make myself disappear here. Hold on.
Ah, this this guy here, this handsome young man here, is Gregory Peck. Okay, he is one of the most popular film stars from the 1940s and 1950s. He's received five Academy Awards for Best Actor or Best Actor nominations, and he won once uh, in the 1962 film *To Kill a Mockingbird*. Um, he's also been in movies. Uh, 12 O'Clock High and The Gunfighter, Moby Dick, The Big Country, Porkchop Hill, Cape Fear, How the West Was Won, um, man, uh, The Omen in 1976. So, this guy's been around. He has, he's been around in, in several... <clears throat> several things uh 36 president lyndon b johnson he honored uh gregory peck with the presidential medal of freedom so well, that's cool here's some pictures of uh gregory peck i thought this picture here was interesting because his grandson is very similar to this picture right here so, I mean, you can see some resemblance there. So I thought that was, I thought that was kind of neat. All right. So let's go back uh, to, to Ethan Peck and me. Because <clears throat> we can't uh, have a Shep Rambles without me on here. All right. So through 52 years of television and film, a parallel universe and a mirror universe... Mr. Spock remains the only member of the original bridge crew, crew Q, to span every era of Star Trek. The great Leonard Nimoy and then the brilliant Zachary Quinto. Zach. Zach is awesome. Brought incomparable humanity to a character forever torn between logic and emotion. We searched for two months for an actor who would, like them, bring his own interpretation to the role. An actor who would, like them, effortlessly embody Spock's greatest qualities beyond obvious logic, empathy, intuition, compassion, confusion, and yearning. Ethan Peck walked into the room inhabiting all of these qualities, aware of his daunting responsibility to Leonard, Zack, and the fans, and ready to confront the challenge in the service of protecting and, and expanding on Spock's legacy. In that spirit, we're thrilled to welcome him to the family. So this, uh, a different Spock, not quite sure what they mean. Okay, so the Spock that we meet is 10 years before the Star Trek original series. So he is not formed in the same way that he is formed by the time you get to the original series. What we will learn is a lot of what made him the Spock that he was and what will make him the Spock he is. It has to do with his family and his sister. So... I don't know if you remember from the cage. Let's take a look at some. Of course, it would help if I see if I can. Here we go. Take a look at Spock here. This is Captain Pike. See, he smiles. So he's not quite the same Spock. So they could be saying, okay, so that is, you know, like he's going to be a different type of Spock um, than what you're used to. So according to producers, a big part of the second season will have to do with family, specifically the relationship between Spock and Michael Burnham, who was adopted by Spock's parents, Sarah and Amanda. Uh, we're going to really be digging into that relationship and the family dynamics. Where is Spock in season two? Well, Spock did not appear in season two first look trailer, uh, yada, yada, yada. The brief trailer indicates Spock's leave is tied to the mystery which drives the season and was the reason behind Pike taking command of the USS Discovery. 
I don't know why he needs the discovery unless he needs the um, spore drive. Um, but then again, I thought they couldn't use a spore drive. I guess we'll find out uh, in, in uh, season two. That's the only thing I can think of is that he needs access to the spore drive. Otherwise, why does he need discovery? He's got the Enterprise. So there's got to be a reason why he's taking discovery. Unless, unless because Discovery is a science ship, and he, and um, or maybe they're going to be showing that the Enterprise is not. You know, maybe this is where they're going to say that, no, this is the prime timeline. Everything's going to make sense. Maybe they're going to show how, um. Um, how, like, maybe Discovery is more technologically advanced than the Enterprise is. And maybe that's why he wants to take command of it. Maybe something happens to Discovery. And all the technology they had is... Who knows? Who knows? I guess, I guess we'll find out. I mean, I know it doesn't explain the uniforms and stuff, but... I mean, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um... Okay, so the actor posed a photo of himself on Instagram along with Leonard Nimoy's son. Now, that's cool. And daughter, Adam and Julie, along with their spouses, Terry Farrell. Oh, wait a minute. Dax? Really? I didn't know Dax was married to Adam Nimoy. I think that's her right there. Jadzia Dax? Huh. Is that Adam Nimoy? I'm, I'm assuming that's Adam Nimoy right there. That is interesting. Did you all know that? I didn't know that. Adam Nimoy, Julie Nimoy, Ter Terry Farrell. Huh. Who would have known? I didn't. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, Ethan Peck, he started acting when he was 32. Um, he was this young. He had a starring role in 10 Things I Hate About You. That does sound familiar. I just never watched it. Uh, was in 1970 show as a young Michael Kelso, who was played by Ashton Kutcher, the older version. Meet Gregory Peck's grandson, Ethan Peck. Let's, let's watch this. Let's... It's only a minute. Oh my goodness, that's loud! Meet Ethan Peck, star on the rise, and most recently the face of Ferragamo. He also happens to be the grandson of screen legend Gregory Peck, though the actor says it doesn't feel like he's following in his grandfather's footsteps. It feels very kind of my own thing, and I feel that I discover more about him through myself. Still, there's no denying the leading man qualities the two share. How do you feel about the comparisons to your uh, grandfather? Um, I mean, I'm really honored. I think when I was a little bit younger, it was like, I felt a little more burdensome. Mm -hmm. And now I just feel like, how lucky, like, to be born into this body, in this city, in this life. You know what I mean? Like, the circumstances could be very different. I didn't sign up for this. Right. You, you know, were born but into like, it. But if I, if I like, could re-up, I would, I would. Ethan is carving his own path, and in his new film, The Curse of Sleeping Beauty. Hmm. So, what, future Batman? He might play Batman? That's interesting. Okay. So, I mean, if you want to watch it, there's uh, obviously a link here where you can um, watch that. And as far as the other videos here, this probably all says uh, pretty much the same type of stuff. Yeah. I'll still link. I'll still link this uh, this stuff here for you. And let's see. Uh, he was born in 1986. That makes me feel old. <laughs> and this just talks about Leonard Nimoy here. Of course, here's Zachary Quinto. These are the different people that played Spock. Okay, so here's Jacob Kogan. He played. He played a young uh, Spock in the J.J. Abrams 
movie. And then here's the other young Spocks. These are from Star Trek Three. Um, okay, and then there's this. <laughs> I don't think I would have ever thought of this, but but that's it. Um, that's all we got um, on this. Uh, what do you think? How about we look something else up here with um, Spock from the cage? What else do we got here? Spock. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is good. Watch this one. This has always been my favorite. <laughs> Spock's reaction. The women! <laughs> the women! <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> uh, what, what other ones? Is there any other ones on here? No. There was, um, all right, that's from the cage. Um, he's a, almost the same in where no where no man has gone before, because that was uh, the second pilot to Star Trek. They wear the same types of uniforms uh, in that one. And he's very similar with Kirk. I think this is it. Your move, Captain. Could have intercepted by now. Bird said they'd call. This is that. Have you checkmated your next move? Now watch his watch his <laughs> move. Have I ever mentioned you play a very irritating game of chess, Mr. Spock? Irritating. Ah, yes. One of your Earth emotions. Certain you don't know what irritation is? In fact, one of my ancestors married a human female. Terrible. Having bad blood like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... So some early Spock stuff there, and I'm interested. I'm interested. I'd like. I, I don't know if we're gonna see a whole lot of Spock in in Star Trek Discovery, um, I because mean, it's Star Trek Discovery. It's not about Captain Pike. It's not about Spock. Um, it shouldn't be about them. It, it's it, it's about discovery it's 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 about that ship and it's about a different crew it's not supposed to be about pike and and spock um although it's a story that we really haven't seen other than the cage so i think it's kind of cool that we're going to be able to maybe learn a little bit more um about them but uh I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. What do you think? Um, are you looking forward to Star Trek Discovery? <laughs> Star Trek Discovery. Um, it, there is going to be some material that is also going to be showing up on Star Trek Online. So what do you think about that? I have a video on that also. Um, are you just... Would you rather just watch The Orville Season 2? Um... Are you just planning? Are you planning to watch both? Maybe you just hate science fiction and you're just not going to watch either one. I don't know. Uh, comments, leave your comments because I like comments. I like to read what you think. Um, other than that, I will see you on the next rambling video. Take care. And if you enjoyed that topic, then you might enjoy my rambles on these topics. I make videos all the time on no particular schedule. Remember, your comments and rambles are also welcome here. 
Subscribe to get notified of more videos and thank you for watching.